Now it's that man again, Andy V. Frost. He's on his way from the back, and soon he'll be at the front, facing you. I was hiding. The police were chasing me. That's a hundred. Ah, well, uh, it's going to lighten up a bit. Um, I didn't give a year in the first set, but I was 21 in 1983. Oh, well, of course. Let's see if it goes back. Too good to be true so far. <laughs> Um, and the, the events of these following poems is 83, 84, 85, 86, and a bit later. Um, I will quickly mention the time, if you went too fast, the police had to catch you to give you a seven day produce note or have you in court. <laughs> um, no cameras, no. Mm -hmm. Anyway, good old days. Mm. <laughs> For about a year, year and a half after my father's death, I rode around Speedway mainly, following Wimbledon, and down that part of London, South West London. Uh, this is Compass. The shadows of a due west sun ellipse the flickering five spoke wheels of my motorcycle on the left to right lean flick of a slowest roundabout. Surging from the exit, I steam into a north north east beam, the roadside trees blending to a wall of brown with green crests. East of England showground signposted. I steer a large roundabout, laughing at my crazily stretched shadow before pulling up and parking by the grandstand. Twenty heats later, the speedway ends. I've gorged on hot dogs, cheered the victors, and carried a faint sense of meth burnt methanol, cashewar. The scuff shell in my nostrils southwards by the A1 to London. <laughs> Unfortunately, the time and duration of my father's illness sort of like cut off a load of friends. I had a few friends left from school, and the Speedway friends I did make, I was being pretty cold, so they tended to be seasonal. Hello, and well, that was it. Um, then one day, one, my mate came round. Sunday, and we went off up Box Hill, as young bikers do, and he ran into a load of fellow, group of fellows from his, the engineering industry's training board, his fellow apprentice, and he introduced me and they said, want to come for a ride? And we started going out regular, and we gradually grew and eventually became a very large group known as the Pack. <laughs> This is a quick intro to them. We were the bike boys and bike girls. Scratchers, dispatchers, mudlarks, leather clad street racers. Lone wolves in our twenties in search of our own. Till we found ourselves amongst peers. Riding quickly, no, made that fast and ferociously and most assuredly a lot madly with the odd wheelie or ten thrown in for a lark. We rode power valves and katanas, VFRs and FJ turbos, FZs, big Zs, GPZs, MZ, well, perhaps on occasion. We went on ride outs and coast runs, SOS and triple B runs, Chelsea Bridge, Box Hill, off road training, Brands Hatch Racing School. We rarely stopped still, for we lived for riding and drinking, weekending and partying, mate chasing and mating, regularly repeating everything on this list. We were loose friends, we were best friends, we were brothers and sisters, cousins and neighbours, bikers to the core, and we loved being the ones our parents would have warned you about. <laughs> I was 22. I was flicking through a glossy magazine, as 22 year young men do. And the, and I flicked over a page and there she was, my news, the love of my life. She was a GPZ 900R A1 Kawasaki. <laughs> Fast, fine handling, fully fed, finished, in firecracker red, star miss grey with gold pinstripes. 
a legend in her lunchtime. She was perfection. My desire led to bank accounts to possess her. Together, 18. Happiest when we unleashed her beast to dash between A and B rather rapidly. She buffed my ego to gleaming. I always sported a big grin when riding her. She gave me the best 22 months that a biker could ever wish for. Then she was stolen. Bereft, I've never personified another motorcycle since. R.I.P. She. Oh. Did you see the picture, Patrick? Uh, no, it's wonderful. Yeah. That's one of her sisters. <laughs> <laughs> you should have brought it with you. Oh, you stole it, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> ah. Um. The Pat was a large organic group that just kept growing. We invited people along. If they didn't scare us, they got invited again along <laughs> next week. Not many of us, many of them scared us. On a good, fair, fair weather Friday night, it was invariably Chelsea Bridge. I'm going to take you on a fantastic road trip. Chelsea Bridge on Friday nights. A Friday night near Dorking. 10.30, pub closing, weather calling. We just warming up, our engines ready to hit the darkness and brighten it with headlights. Aiming for London fast, by a bypass pass, never head across the motorway towards Isha to join the A3, making for the streetlights of Hook, then Tolworth regrouping at the bowling alley, then on Wandsworth to the roundabout. And round the roundabout. Round the round the round the round the roundabout. Till it got busy. So we peeled off the Chelsea Bridge and the snap bar on the south side for the meeting up with our brothers and sisters of the same mind. It's Friday, now Saturday, our time to play. And the rumble of fire danger said it's now time to head west along the A4, onto the M4, racing out to Heston and the services. It's crazy how fast we got there, as if we didn't care, but we did care, just wanted to get there faster than anyone else could. And in the car park, performing donuts and other hijinks for onlookers and their stairs. It was crazy what we dared to do there, as if we didn't care, but we did care, just dared to be madder than the last one until... The police and patrol cars put a damper on a fun time and alarm time to start up our bikes, move out and return to the bridge. Another mad dash and head back by the roundabout. And yeah, you've guessed it. Round around about. <laughs> round around 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 until we got dizzy. For we were young. We were bikers, it was fun to spark our footrests on the roadstone before charging off down the A3 to stop at Tolworth for a last cigarette. And good night said. 4 a.m. was dawning, we split up and went our own ways homewards to bed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite memory of that night, of those nights, I just I think I'm taking a little wiki here because I've got a bit of time. A group of 15 of us, most of us two up, and we come up behind what looked like a pickup truck for picking up cars and stuff. And we shot past it. Are there any police here, by the way? <laughs> About 120, 130 mile per hour. Um, we got into the lit section of the A3, through Underhook, regrouped at Charrington and Bowl. And just as the first few of us were pulling into the front of Charrington Bowl where we could park the bikes, we found, we realised we had buzzed a brand new, at the time, police Range Rover, oh. 130 mile per hour. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a good night. <laughs> and, yeah, it was fun. But unfortunately, sometimes things did go wrong. This is one Friday night on Chelsea Bridge. I met her flesh. Heavy coloured leather, light bright fiberglass, gleaming plastic, sparkling chrome, barking, meaty engines. It was loud, rowdy, a swelling crowd overflowing the pavement. There was a roar above it all, grins on faces turning grim to a thump, a shriek, a bang, a thud. Gas breaking into full realisation screams. 
pedestrian dashed to the floor, her leg smashed, lost in spite of immediate specialist treatment. Biker knocked off course into an oncoming beamer. He flew high, 20 feet, hit the deck hard, died in spite of desperate attempted resuscitation. So many of us heard it. So few of us saw it. The police were unhappy with the unknowing, spat back with contempt, the honest. Sorry. Didn't see it. He drifted away somberly. To return to faded bouquets. Witness wanted signs. Intense police patrols. Stifling a return to what was. And stopping us from forgetting that both he and she could have been any one of us. I referred to a poem, wrote the whole set, that was it. It took a long time until I had poems to go with it to also give a description of time before I could say that live. It affects me today because someone died, someone got severely injured. Life is, and it is part of me as well, so. It is a very valid part of this set. It's, um, I'd just like to say on that point, we mentioned Merton Poets 25th earlier. Every one of these poems has been reviewed and critiqued by Merton Poets and Watley Writers, a tete -tete sister group. And uh, some are here today, some are friends, and just thank you. Right. Now, Yes, we went out on bank holidays. Yes, we went out and did things on Saturdays, Thursdays, Fridays. We lived for the weekends. But Sunday was always the king day. This is an 80s Surrey and Southwest Life. 80s Surrey, Southwest and Surrey and Southwest London Biker Sunday. I'm going to finish on this. <laughs> on Surrey roads and stride our dreams with helmets tight and visors down. We rode long past the sun gone down on petrol snorting steeds. And on those steeds we rode as kings and queens, ignoring signs we passed so fast. That the authorities tried to slow us down on those notorious Mickland bends. On those deceptive curves we rode possessed, a challenge of life so close to death. We went by there to our Sunday rest, the car park at the bottom of Box Hill. At the bottom of the hill, we stop, stopped still for a while, snapped, took bikes and laughed until we mounted up and weeded off to race the mad mile. For we were as one, sons and daughters of guns, and any Sunday was fast miles and big smiles. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for the ride. I'm Andy V. Frost. Thank you. There's Andy V for us, revving up and driving off into the sunset, so more applause. <laughs>